airline's 200 million passengers, most travel unaware that the line is in fact controlled automatically. During the line's major upgrade, finished in 2012, the 43 aging 1967 stocks trains were scrapped and replaced by 47 newer, faster trains, the 2009 stock. As well as replacing the trains, a distance to go signalling system was also commissioned. This has now shortened the distance between trains and increase the capacity of the line by a fifth. I've come to the London Transport Museum depot in Acton Town to revisit the 1967 stop train. One of the main things that we take for granted on a train are the seats. On the 1967 stop trains you have transverse seats as well as some longitudinal seating. On the newer trains, the 2009 stop, all you have is longitudinal seating plus some tip up seats giving more space for wheelchair users. This carriage was the same carriage travelled on by the Queen on the line's open date in 1968. When the driver has got into his cab, he's got two keys shaped like a spanner. This one is your master key for the electronics and this is the reverser key. You put your master key into a barrel behind the driver's seat and the reverser key into the barrel on the driver's control panel. Then once the reverser is in intermittent you can then move the power handle. Two keys have now been replaced with just one key. When the train is being driven automatically the driver doesn't require his handle. So, he needs two pairs of start buttons. They are located on either side of the cab. Then you've got this Westinghouse brake lever because the train has two types of brake. This operates the Westinghouse brake. The handle on the other side operates the Westinghouse brake as well as the EP brake. The 2009 stop has a unique feature, which is regenerative brakes. As the train comes into brake, the leftover energy is transferred back to the track. When the driver comes into a station, he has to be on the correct side for the doors. In this case, the left-hand side. So you operate the buttons on the left-hand side. You have another set of door buttons for the right-hand side. The 2009 stop has a unique feature called the sensitive edge. The sensitive edge is located inside the door frame and here. The Victoria Lines ATO relies on codes transmitted through the track. It's picked up by a transceiver located under the train. And the codes received appear on the driver's desk. So I wonder what the next 40 years will hold for the 2009 stop. We only can wait to find out what happens.